and as we're going to check out, look who's checking us out today. Hi guys! That was so exciting to see. Good morning! <laughs> We are doing something really exciting today. Well, to me it is. We're going to eat at Trails End for breakfast. So, also, when you go to Fort Wilderness, you have to park here. Go over here to the bus depot. Get on a bus. Then you travel about 13 miles. You can't walk. Or you can take a horse. And then you pull up on your horse, your golf cart, or your bus. And you go get some breakfast. I've never done this before. I've only done dinner here one time. Swimming pool. So the method of transportation that I chose this day was a horse, of course. <laughs> and I have to go put it, hook him to something right now. I'm riding him right now. I gotta go hook him up to something. Okay, so we finally made it. My horse is parked. I'll show you guys what I rode in on later. It's a little different than I remembered because this was over here. Am I losing it? Maybe, because I've not been here in a while. So I could be totally confused. I haven't been here in three years and now I remember everything correctly. There was rocking chairs lined up over here. There was no scrim there. And the playground was surrounded by a fence and it was over there because I remember playing on it. Okay, so we, so, so we were just seated. And it's only $20 and it's all you can eat and it's family style, it's not the buffet anymore. And um, you get your drink too. So I ordered coffee and water. I'm really excited for this. It's only $20. I mean, come on. And it's all you can eat. I actually don't want to lie to you guys because I want to be honest here. It's only $19.99, so I'm sorry I rounded up that penny. It's $19.99, which makes it even sound more better, of, um, much better of a value. All right, so the first thing they bring out is the coffee and then your little pastry basket and it's got little muffy things. And then it's got multi-grain croissant, sticky buns, and strawberry banana butter. And before I even got a chance to, to dive into the carb basket, they brought out the parfait. Okay, we're gonna try the strawberry butter. It's unique. Tastes like a dessert. Well, it is on a blue brand muffin. It's good, but it's unique. It's fantastic. What am I talking about? Everything is really, really good. It's not like a normal like breakfast. All these are actually like warm and yummy and good. Okay, so they brought out the skillet, and this is like once you finish skillet one, you go in for skillet two. Sausage, bacon, cheesy eggs, cheesy potato casserole, and Mickey waffles, a little thing of syrup, and um, yeah. I am in trouble. These potatoes are so good. I have bumped my mouth with that. The eggs. They're so good. Mickey waffle. So good. Sausage. So good. Bacon. It's all so good. All right, skillet number two is here. And we got a whole refresh, and it looks exactly the same as it did last time. Like, so it's pretty consistent here. That bacon is crispy. The generic, regular uh, um, pastry basket that you get at every single buffet. It didn't end up going through the Disney flavor vacuum where like, you know, you get something and it just doesn't really taste like much of anything, but it's just a waste of calories. This is worth every ounce of your calories for the day. I would consume an entire confection by myself. This really was amazing. I mean, I've never done the California Grill breakfast, so I can't really say if this is better than that, but this is definitely one of the best breakfasts I ever had. It does, I mean, I love still Kona, but this is the best. And with a pass holder discount, it's like 16 a person. You cannot beat that. My only complaint is that we didn't end up getting the giant skillets to begin with. I mean, that's fine, but everything was really good. And that's Coffee Talk with Veronica. So well, I wanted to show you guys what I did ride in to breakfast on. It was my old iron horse. No, I'm kidding, I actually rode it on a horse. Actually, I'm kidding again, I, I took the bus. Oh. 
every time I see these Mickey pumpkins, which I'm not even showing you guys one right now, it's like the first time. I obviously haven't been really talking about anything that we're doing, but we just did Peter Pan. Now we're doing Haunted Mansion. We're gonna stop and see Gracie. Hey, Gracie. You don't look like Gracie, but you are Gracie. If you want a little trick, wherever you hear the thunder happen when you're in that first room with Master Gracie, go to the opposite door that opens because where the thunder is, it's not going to be the one that opens. And then always go under the girl that's over the elevator, the tightrope walker. See, it's like the best little trick ever. You get to be the front of the line, you get in the room first. It's just great. It works every time. I wanted the back, I didn't ask for the back, and I got the back. Ridiculous. I think I have him on my skirt. I do. <laughs> I'm not understanding. You guys see that Mickey covered in bird poop in the middle of that rock that looks like a turd? Frozen fruit punch and lemonade because it is so hot out. I wish I could tell you guys how hot it really was. I think it tastes the lemonade. I know I get fruit. Fruit is. I think the heat and waking up early and running around for over a week is making me tired, so my vlogs have not been very enthusiastic, but I will eat for you guys all day long. These apples are really sticky and they just begin to start picking up everything. Make you poke your eye out too. Gracie lost her little Mickey Mouse ID tag, so I'm getting her a new one. I was about to show you guys what it looks like, but it has my phone number on it. And yeah, really smoked up. Wow. wow. Well, I'm people watching right now, and look at all the people in line for Space Mountain. It's that 35 minute wait, I doubt that. I really, really, really doubt that. Holy. No, thank you. I would rather never do it again. All right, there was something I wanted to see before I leave here and head out of here to the resorts. There's the Dalmatian one. It's a little greasy pumpkin, hey. I had to throw in the towel, raise my white flag, and give up. So now we are going to the Contemporary for no reason at all other than to get out and educate them because this heat, I'm not gonna lie to you, I lived in Florida for a long time. It's it's stressful and intense. Oh my goodness, it's a ghost. It's an upside down bear ghost. Wow, they really are uh, doing something in here. Oh, I hear chains. Oh boy. Stand out till you notice me. There's not really much going on here at the Contemporary. There's not even really a place to like sit down and hang out. And there's a lot of construction happening here. So we're gonna head over to the Grand Floridian and see if we can find a nice little cozy corner to relax and have some zen and beauty and peace in our lives. Okay, from Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary to the Grand Floridian for three minutes in each order, in that order. No, okay, so Magic Kingdom we did for like five hours. Then we did three hours of Contemporary, then we did two minutes of Grand Floridian, and now we have arrived at Test Track. Now, as my brother has said, I definitely prefer the old Test Track way better. I like the queue line better. I like the whole thing. I like the dummies, I like the robots. I like the whole idea of it. This is more like futuristic. And it's been a while since I said this, but if you don't want to design a car, which I don't want to design a car, I would like them to randomly select a car for me of their choice. You can just walk straight through the design of car rooms. Like I just did. And you save like 500 minutes by doing it that way. Look at there is nobody in here, but there's hundreds of people in there. Oh, darn it. Oh, darn it.
darn it. Oh, there we go. This is back on again. This has not been on like all week and like for the last two years. Everything's back open. I wish I would have built a car, but instead I didn't build a car. Now I can't race my car with everybody. I have not done one thing food and wine yet. So we're gonna get some lobster because I don't like it at all. So what we have here is the gourmet lobster tail. It was $14. They do give you a lemon on a salad, which is really nice. So you do get a salad with your lobster tail. Um, we're gonna give it a try. I don't like lobster at all. I found this leaf and I'm gonna stick it in here too to see if my friend notices. I don't know anything about lobster. But if you like lobster, I'm sure you'll like it. It's squishy, it's chewy. It's everything I think you want in a lobster. Look at that! It's a little hole for you to go in and then you can just go start peeking at people. Bacon wall still going strong. I was told, rumor had it, it was getting painted. But no, it's still here. I really hope all of you are enjoying this vlog because now we're done with that guy and we're going back to Magic Kingdom. By the monorail. Oh, send help. Look at how far I have to go. I'm never gonna make it. I'm never going to make it up this ramp. I am in 100% favor of going back to social distancing as soon as everybody wants to. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, my boat just got smashed into by the boat behind me. Like we weren't moving at all. And then all of a sudden the boat behind me just smacked into this one. It is riding my butt right now. Wait, wait, wait. That was really funny. The cart behind us just kept like, well, it happened like twice. It just flew right into the back of us like the time that it happened on Figment. I don't know who to pick here. Well, you look stupid. Maybe I'll ride you. This one has flowers. Fine. One thing about carousels is that I've always wanted to do like a filming myself on one and then having it be in slow motion. It's so, like you come down and you're like something that I have never done before ever 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 and I'm super excited and I'm biting my mask look at how pretty it is in here I've never been in here before I guess like normally you would meet Cinderella there I'm thinking look at the spiral staircase oh look at how pretty this is the funnest staircase in the <gasps> Look at this staircase. So many people have climbed the staircase, but never me. Let's get, oh, I just tripped. Look at how pretty it is in here. And here's the menu. It's so pretty. It's got the real castle on it. Not like the cartoon one. And then, I guess this is alcohol. And then we have these things. Yeah, so you prepay for this. Okay, so it's $62 a person, but, and you have to prepay before you get to do this. Look at it. I did something probably really dumb and I got the vegan cheese platter and I'm a little nervous I don't even know if that's butter or fake cheese I don't know what these are I think nuts we're in trouble let's try it all right this is the cheese on the left and it looks like crap oops there we go Middle one. Not bad. No kidding.
kidding. Here's another cheese, fake. Honestly, none of these are bad at all. And I'm a big cheese person. I don't know what this yellow fat looking stuff is, but. It's really, really not that bad. I wouldn't even know. If you told me this was a cheese platter, I wouldn't even know. This is the tomato heirloom appetizer. It was good, I guess. I think. It must have been. Now that I've gone vegan, I was told that I'll probably live to be 100 now. I never thought I would be able to be a vegan, but as long as I got cheese on the other side, I can do it. Okay, so it came out. I ordered mine medium well, and it looks pretty good. Mashed potatoes, these things gotta go. Moving them to the side. But that looks good. All right, there's the juicies on the inside. All right, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. I'm saying what I mean to say. All right. Review time. It's really good. All righty then, now we have dessert. This is chocolate. This is chocolate, and that is vanilla. I'm excited. Oh, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. This is so good. You guys, I am not lying when I say this is the best dessert I have ever had. This is Phenomenal. All right, we're leaving now. Um, I didn't realize that we could leave after we're done eating because we already prepaid for everything. So I kind of just sat there for like an extra few minutes and he came over and he's like, you do know you can leave. Yeah, no I didn't, but I pretended I did. I said, oh yeah, 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 I'm just hanging out. But look, they're having us hang out in here. Oh, we're going out this way. Thank, thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Can't get up. <laughs> oh. And they all live happily ever after. So, after happily ever after, I have been jogging all the way from Magic Kingdom on feet to get to Epcot and see Epcot forever and say goodbye. Look at the line for the Skyliner right now. No way I would walk to my destination. I'd walk to Hollywood Studios on foot, barefoot, before I do this. Maybe not. I'm being overdramatic. We got all the way to Epcot and found out that it closed 50 minutes ago, which would be the reason why there is a huge line at the Skyliner. I'm not sad about missing Epcot because it is a gorgeous night. A little humid, a little muggy, but it's gorgeous and I am happy that I'm alive right now. <coughs> I finally oh, saw it. Oh, to take a ride on the train? It's a witness. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique operation waiting for you. We invite you if you dare to stop. I look like a, a superhero. Or like um, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy from Spongebob. All right, I can feel it. This is going to be my best vlog to date. Just wait and see. Starting off hot. Obviously all the clips you just saw 
Like I said, this one's gonna be a hot one. Earlier, my camera wasn't working. I don't know what was going on with it, but this is gonna be my most amazing video I've ever done. I think Remy's having their squeak peek. It's actually really dead this week here in Disney. Look at, look at this. Usually you're walking through here and there's like a smorgasbord of people all over and today there's not. This is so weird. I have not run into a single crowd yet. And it's food and wine. And it's really cold out, so it's like the weather's nice. I'm really surprised. It's literally one o'clock in the afternoon. This is like an eerie, weird, I don't even want to talk because I feel like I'm yelling. So I've completely uh, given up on all the parks at this point. Um, and maybe have a zebra dome. I would love to have done Boma, but there's no reservations for Boma. Do I have a treat for you guys? This is a one bedroom jumbo house DVC villa. And look at the artwork on the tile. That's my shirt. Simba. Oh my gosh, they're gone already. There was just a pack of zebras right outside of here. Oh, they're gone. Better late than never that I've been to Everglades. I think it's been open for months now. And I never walked in here for any reason. And I'm not here to get a donut for anything even with a donut on it. I think the prices are a little crazy for donuts. They're seen regular size and then loaded up with things on top. So a dozen donuts would be 70 something dollars. It's a funky chicken and I think it's got barbecue sauce, coleslaw, which I took the coleslaw off. Pickles, I took the pickles off. So what we got here is pretty much bread with fried chicken and barbecue sauce. I could have ate it over something. I like it. I actually like this. It's pretty good. I have got terrible news for everybody. And I don't want anyone to be too upset. And I don't try to make people cry on my channel. But the NBA experience is not opening back up. It's unfortunate. And... I'm sad too. I have always dreamed of checking my vertical leap right here. 